What's going on guys, Platinum Cards in the house, and today I'm here with some more Skull Servant Duels. And I'm telling you, this is my favorite deck in real life, and it's probably my favorite deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So I fiddle with this deck so much, so I've made a decent amount of changes. So let's go ahead and take a look at this deck, and then we can go ahead and look at some duels. So first, I'm running three copies of Skull Servant. I'm running three copies of King of the Skull Servant, three copies of White Mare, three copies of White Prince, three White Bakings, uh, two Maxis. I know technically I'm running 42, but the Maxis kind of null that out anyway, right? Because I'm going to be drawing a bunch of cards. So Maxis are always useful. Three copies of Lady in White, three copies of Unizombie, three White Princesses, uh, three Shirani Solitaires, two copies of Gozuki. I got myself a Regeki, a Card Destruction. Uh, Monster Reborn, Foolish Burial, Book of Life, uh, Reasoning, uh, Burial from a Different Dimension, Hand Destruction, Twin Twisters, and then I got Infinite Permanence and Gravity Bind. Now, preferably if I get another copy of Infinite Permanence, I'll probably switch it out for Gravity Bind so I can run two of these. And then for the extra deck, this needs a lot of work, trust me. Um, if you guys can see, I'll put it in the description below, but my real life deck build, you can see what I'm going for in this deck at least. So, um, uh, Shirani Sword Saga, uh, one red eyes zombie necro dragon, a crimson blader, red hot dragon, red hot red dragon archfiend, Levire the sea dragon, Link Rebo, and relinquished anima. So these, I think, obviously only have seven cards in the extra deck. Uh, this can be improved drastically. But let's go ahead and take a look at some duels, guys. All right. So as we start this, I draw as King of the Skull Servants, a right prince, lady in white, a right princess, and a Gozuki. So this guy's going to be using Virtual Worlds. So he just plays a spell card, and then he sets one down. And knowing Virtual Worlds is probably that continuous trap, but I got a Maxi in my hand now. So I'm going to be drawing Gozuki, and he's going to use his own Maxi. And I'm going to use this effect to send uh, White Baking to the grave. White Baking allows me to add two to my hand and then discard one. So I'm going to be discarding a White Prince. And since I discard the white prince, I can use this effect to dump uh, Lady in White and Skull Servant to the grave. And I'm not going to be special summoning right now just because I don't want him to take advantage of his uh, maxi. And now that it's his turn, I have White Princess as a hand trap for myself. But he's going to be using Virtual World card. Um, I always forget what these things are called. They only have they have uncomfortable names for me to pronounce at the very least. So then I'm going to use my maxi right away. And he's going to be popping off his combos. I can draw again thanks to maxi. And he special summons from the grave, and then he's using his spell card that allows him to add this thing to his hand. I drew two Shirani Solitaires in a row, which is not the best because, yes, they're searchers, but I can only use one of them per turn, right? So, And then he summons this thing, and then he adds this card to his hand. And I draw Regeki, so I'm pretty much set. doesn't really matter what he does. I was thinking he was going to go into the one virtual world card that banishes everything because that probably would be the best counter for this deck because everything would be banished instead of being sent to the grave. But I don't think that's what he's going for anymore. So he's using his virtual world gate and then he destroys my Gozuki. Gozuki's effect is going to activate. I can banish a card from my hand in order to special summon a card from my hand. So I'm going to special summon the King of the Skull Servants and he goes into Ultimaya to Zulkin and then my effect gets negated. So then I'm going to use White Princess to limit the damage I'm going to take. So I only took 800. I didn't use my... King of the Skull Servants effect because I don't have too many zombies in the grave or King of the Skull Servants in the grave. So and then I just got lucky and I happened to draw Book of Life. So after that I can use that. I'm not gonna banish any of his uh virtual world cards, so I just banish his Max C and then my King of the Skull Servants has four four K and he's gonna use his trap card here. It destroys my thing and now lesson learned, so I'm gonna Rageki first thing and then I'm gonna use Rightmare to bring back a banished uh lady in white. So now his my King of the Skull Servants won't even be affected. Then Shirani Solitaire will allow me to search for Unizombie. Unizombie's effect is going to activate. I can discard my uh, right prince that allows me to dump a lady in white and skull servant in the grave. And then from my deck, I can dump a white baking, which is going to pop off the same combos earlier. I'm going to add a white prince and a white mirror to my hand. White prince is going to get dumped, and then white prince's effect is going to activate again. That allows me to send two from my hand because those are the only two I have left. Now I have ungodly amounts of skull servants, and then I can use white mirror's effect again in order to special summon a second copy of lady in white. Then just to make sure I'm double protected. Then he's going to use his infinite and permanence, but that does nothing because Lady is white. Lady in white is on the field, and that allows me to go for crazy amounts of damage. All right, so the second duel, I'm going to be going second, and I happen to draw Maxi first turn, so this is going to be great. So he's using Tri Brigade, so I was like, "Yep, Maxi, it's going to be, it's going to be Maxi right here." So he's going to use his Tri Brigade effects, Tri Brigade Keras, which I'm not too familiar with Tri Brigades, if I'm being honest, but. 
He's going to special summon it. That allows me to uh, draw another card. And now he's using graveyard effects, which allow him to add Tri Brigade Kit, I believe, to his hand. And then he is going to activate his Keras effect. And then he's going to link summon into Ancient Warriors. So this thing's kind of annoying because I have an Ancient Warriors deck. And I know what this is capable of. So by the end of his turn, I have a bunch of cards in my hand. I can use Regeki right away if I want to. But I am going to make sure of that spell and trap in the background. So I'm going to discard my White Prince, which works pretty well. Pretty good combo. And then I'm going to use Regeki, destroying both of his cards. And then his card has a graveyard effect, which allows him to add this to his hand. And after that, he can, I think, shuffle one back into his deck. And then I'm using Reasoning and... I use, use he used the level four, but I freaking Max C of course was the one that was summoned, which isn't the best in the situation. But I can summon Unizombie, popping off its effect. Um, this Unizombie is the best card for this deck. He's just probably the best way to just dump as many cards as possible into the deck or into the graveyard. And then on top of that, I'm gonna chain uh, Right Princess just to have as many cards as possible in the grave. So now both my cards are at zero attack. Um, see, this would be perfect if I had uh, Black Rose Dragon. I could have summoned that, not use its effect, and then just use it for extra attack. But it doesn't really matter because my King of the Skull Servants has insane amounts of attack, and I can OTK, but he's going to go ahead and call it a duel. All right. Tell me OTKs aren't satisfying as hell with this deck, guys. But anyway, starting with this duel, he's going to be going first. He's going to be using... Uh, pot of extravagance and then after he's gonna be summoning soul servant so I, I are playing soul servant so i already know this guy's gonna be using a dark magician deck right so i have two right prints in my hand a lady in white a shirani solitaire and a skull servant so i'm banking on shirani solitaire working in him not having basically an ash blossom or just an infinite permanence or something that can negate my effect which is a little bit disturbing right now but he's gonna use his magician souls he's gonna be summoning dark magician and then he also has the continuous spell Dark Magical Circle. Then he's going to use Secrets of Dark Magic to go and fusion summon the Dark Magicians, plural. And since he's ending, I am hoping that I draw something really, really nice. And I draw another Shirani Solitaire. So I'm completely banked on this one card. And lucky for me, he didn't have any ways to go around it. And now I can discard my Right Prince. Right Prince's effect is going to activate, dumping those two in the grave. And now I can send one straight from the deck. I'm going to be sending uh, Right Baking. Right Baking's effect is going to activate. I can add two to my hand and then discard one. I already have a Right Prince in my hand, so I added two non-Right uh, Princes to my hand. Usually I will exclusively add a Right Prince and one other card. But in this situation, I thought it best to do it this way. And now I have a 4,000 attack point monster. And now I have a 5,000 attack point monster as well as something to defend it. And then I'm going to use Right Princess and then I'm going to immediately tune into Crimson Blader, and I'm stupid because Unizombie's effect, I'm pretty sure, only lets me attack with Zombie Monster. So I could have won right here, but I needed uh, to summon a Zombie Monster. So maybe I should have summoned uh, Red-Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon, but that's that's level 7 as well. So that's just something I will have to figure out. And he's at 17, so after his card gets destroyed, he can summon Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. And then I sacrifices both of them to summon Dark Magician, I believe. Um... Hopefully I'm remembering that correctly. And then he banishes my card. So that's a little bit problematic, but it's not too problematic because you can recycle your banished King of the Skull Servants with a specific card. And then I'm going to use Shirani Solitaire again. I'm going to use Unizombie to dump uh, Right Prince. And that allows me to dump the two from my hand because I believe I am out. Uh, that will be my last... I used all three of my Right Princes, therefore using all three of my other ones. Then I'm going to use Unizombie's effect to dump the one from my hand. Uh, right baking from my hand, and then, yeah, I have to add two, and then I discard the right princess, and then I can use the right mare in order to special summon my banished king of the skull servants, and now I have two 10,000 10, attack point monsters, and I can more than go for a game, trust me. Well, guys, uh, compared to the last time I've been dueling, or the last videos I've put up dueling with king the skull servant deck in specific, I think these new additions have been pretty good. Um, there are still some additions that are, there are some changes and additions that I'd like to make. Um, definitely going to fill out the extra deck. I'm going to make sure, uh, that I have maybe 13 cause I don't, I don't want to get DD dynamited, but definitely make sure I have at least 13 in here. I want to make sure that I have one more, uh, infinite permanence. Cause I would say a weakness in this deck is that, like if a monster's on the field that has some sort of effect that makes it so you can't attack it or a monster's on the field that, um, has an effect like, uh, my, Master your Dark Law that makes it so all your opponents, all your monsters are going to be banished, or a monster that's on the field that negates effects, monster effects specifically, that's a problem. So I probably need two of these. 
Other than that, I think I should be good to go. But there's there's some cards I can switch out here and there. I might do a third copy of Maxi, but I'd have to get it. I have only nine URs right now. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching my video. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. And oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time to do, 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 do.